Hey everyone! In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create glossy text in Photoshop. Now I taught you how to do it in GIMP and the process is pretty similar, so let's get started. I'm going to make sure that I have my text layer made, the color that you want. And then we're going to go over to the pen tool and create the bottom shadow. And I'm going to create my path. And remember that the pen tool is a little different in Photoshop. You need to hold the command key if you want to change points or anchors. So I'm just going to real quick go around this. And then we want to go over here to our path dialog. And we want to right click this. Go to make selection and click OK. And we want to go back to our layers and create a new layer. And then go over to our gradient tool. This might be the bucket tool on yours. All you have to do is hold it and you can change the tool. So I'm going to use the gradient tool and I'm going to make sure my foreground color is black. Click OK. And then I'm going to go up here to this gradient and you can adjust the gradient on here for it to be less black or more black and I'm gonna do less so we don't have a lot of black um, filling up the bottom of our gloss we just want it to be kind of where the white and the black uh, meet so I'm gonna drag this up and click OK and then I'm going to drag down and try to get it as straight as possible and there we go. Now I'm going to go up to select, deselect. And now I'm going to go to my text layer. And I'm going to right click it and I'm going to go down. And I'm going to click create work path. And then we're going to go over to our path tool. And then we're going to right click that and click make selection. And then click OK. And then go back to layers. Make sure our shadow layer is selected and go up to edit, cut. And then we can hide our shadow layer and go up to edit, paste. Now I'm going to zoom in so we can make sure this matches up correctly. And once you have selected the shadow, you can hit the control button to have more control over where you're going to move it. See, if I do it without holding the control button, it kind of snaps. You want to be able to move it exactly where it was. So that looks good. So I'm going to zoom out. And we have our shadow layer. Now actually I'm going to zoom back in again. So we can use our pen tool to create the selection for the highlight. And I'm going to try to get it as closely matched to this um, line as possible. So when we turn the opacity down we don't have a weird line here. I'm going to just try to match it as close as possible. Again, holding the command key when I want to change anchors or change places of the selection. Just a tad. And just play around with it until you get it as close as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Now I'm going to select this anchor and then go around. Go back to pass, right click, make selection, click OK, go back to layers. Now we're going to create a new layer for a highlight. I'm going to make sure our foreground color is white, and then go back to our gradient, and then I'm going to edit this gradient so we have a little bit more highlight. Click OK. Now we can drag this up and click select select and if we want to have a transparent background we need to get rid of this white excess outside of the gloss text so we need to click our glossy text layer right click we need to go up to create work path go over to path right click make selection click OK go back to our layers Make sure our highlight layer is selected. Go up to edit, cut. Now we can hide that layer and go back to edit, paste. 
And we're gonna do the same thing we did with the dark layer. Gonna make sure you have it selected and then hold the control button on that. And match it up as good as possible. Now I'm going to zoom out. And now I'm gonna turn down the opacity and just kind of play with the different layers to get the effect that I want. So I'm gonna turn down white just a little bit and then turn down the shadow just a little. And you can play around with that until you get exactly what you want. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe, it really helps. Thank you so much for watching.